Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to share what I melted for the week of March 12th through 18th. Um, I did get a week behind again, so I am trying to get caught up. I'm going to film two of these today, and I'll probably um, post them like one day after another. So, um, yeah. Anyways, and I, uh, <laughs> um, you know, a lot of my videos... I'm posting in front of, uh, you know, or filmed in front of, like, my big nail racks <laughs> with all my polish on them downstairs. Um, <clears throat> and I did actually do my nails last night, and I thought, you know, sometimes I get questions about nail polish stuff, so I just thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. Um, this one is uh, CND Vinyl Lux, and this is supposed to be, like, one of those weekly polishes. Um, it's supposed to last, like, seven to ten days. I have really bad... I think like nail chemistry and nothing really lasts a long time for me um, but I have used this in the past and I'm gonna give it another shot and see if I can get more than like a day or two um, you know if you do your your polish right you should get like a week but I just have really bad I think like nail chemistry um, and just nothing seems to stick for a long time but anyways this usually like this most of these weekly systems it has its own top coat which this one does um, this one's a really nice gray color it's called asphalt. So that's that. Um, and then I'm just going to start going through what I melted. So I got these really cute bins. Um, I think this was from Dollar Tree. And I originally was looking for something to send to my niece for um, Easter. <laughs> but, you know, I just ended up not sending one because I was trying to <laughs> not send like the biggest box ever. Um, it just, you know, stuff doesn't fit as well when you're trying to put like fancy stuff in. So, um, on the top here first is um, retail wax. So I'm just going to go through that first. So this one is Gardenia, and I have had this for a very, very long time. I'm pretty sure this was from, from like Dollar General or Dollar Tree. Um, and I did not really expect this to throw at all. Um, I did get a little bit of a throw from it. It wasn't, like, phenomenal. And this is probably, like, five years old. Um, plus, it's I don't think it's supposed to be a very good brand. So, that was okay. I will definitely finish it out, but it wasn't, like, anything crazy. Um, this one is Better Homes and Gardens Fresh Veranda Breeze. This one's a lemon and jasmine. Um, I, this is at least a couple years old. Uh, maybe it's only one year old, but it's definitely from at least last year, if not older. I remember this being good because I only did, I it was a, already a partial. Um, I remember it being good in the past. I didn't get a super duper throw with this, so either I was having an off day that day or it's just kind of losing it. Um, I do melt the retail wax in my kitchen. Um, I had a question recently about why I only melt retail wax in my kitchen. Um, and there's a couple reasons for that. When I first moved into this house, we've been here about two years now, I stored my retail wax, which at the time was all my wax, in my kitchen. Um, we have like a built-in like kind of like china cabinet buffet thing. Um, and I stored it in the bottom part of there. And then when I originally, um, you know, and I had, I think I just had warmers in my kitchen at that point. Because um, we had, you know, I hadn't really settled in and, and gotten much else warmers around the house and you know but before I got into vendor wax but um anyways when I first started with vendor wax I just decided I had so many light bulb warmers I decided to leave like one or two of those in my kitchen and just do my retail wax in there and um you know I didn't really want to do like I really didn't want to do vendor wax in my kitchen because I didn't really go in there a lot and when I first started I didn't really have a lot of it um, and I didn't want to feel like I was wasting it. <laughs> um, but now I have since switched out the light bulb warmers in there for a Glade hot plate. Um, because I just felt like it wasn't really, the light bulbs weren't working great for me. I might still put, like, another light bulb one in addition to the Glade in my kitchen because I have so many cute light bulb ones. Um, probably at least ten, like, cute ones from before I was into, um, vendor wax and needed, like, hot plates. But, um, anyway, so that's part of it. And then, you know, truthfully, now I definitely have enough vendor wax and, you know, where I wouldn't feel like if I was melting in my kitchen, I was wasting it. My son just knocked over a... <laughs> he just emptied, like, a, a bin of my wax that I have out for melting. That's okay. He likes playing with it and stacking it. Um, anyways. <laughs> 
So, um, you know, that's part of it. So I could, I could do retail, um, I could do vendor wax in the kitchen now, but, um, cause I have so much of it and I wouldn't feel like I was wasting it anymore. But the biggest reason I don't, and I still just do the retail wax in my kitchen is because I have a ton of retail wax. Um, and I can't seem to stop buying it <laughs> from Walmart, but, um, if I didn't do it in my kitchen, I would probably never use it or very rarely because, you know, then I'm competing with, you know, like my, my vendor stuff and, you know, nine times out of 10, I'm going to choose the vendor stuff over the retail stuff. So, um, at least with doing it in a dedicated room, like my kitchen, I am always continually grabbing it, where if I just put it all in a big pool together, you'd probably be lucky if you see like one or two of these clams in a week. If that, um, I really don't think I would grab from as much. So anyways, that's why I do it in my kitchen. Um, yeah. So this one is Better Homes and Gardens, all about spring. I melted two cubes of this. Um, this was nice. Um, it was definitely floral. I'm not super in love with florals anymore. It used to be like my favorite scent. I have so many florals from past years. And I'm just trying to get through them even though I'm not really loving them anymore. Um, and I did this Mainstays Papaya Passion Wax Cubes. I don't think I actually hauled this, but this is one of the new ones that they have out. Um, my Walmart only has like two new Mainstays. Um, a lot of it's like older stuff still, so I'm hoping they get some more like summery scents in. So I did two cubes of this in my Glade in the kitchen, and it did really well. I enjoyed it. Um, I definitely feel like the company that they have, someone told me it's a new company doing the Mainstays Wax. It's definitely a lot nicer than I've experienced in the past, so I hope they continue to do that. I've definitely had better luck with them recently. Um, and then I did this Sensationals Himalayan Pink Sea Salt. I've had this one for maybe six months and I hadn't done it. Um, you might still be able to get this one, but this one is an invigorating blend of eucalyptus and jasmine. Um... This was very, very strong. It's definitely spa. Um, and I thought it was really strong in eucalyptus. Um, it's not something that I would want to melt every day, but I did think it was a nice scent. Um, and here's a Better Homes and Gardens Sunset Creek Azalea. Um, so you know this one's just like a floral set. Um, I'm pretty sure I melted two cubes of this and then I had one that I'd done in the past. This is probably at least from last year, if not older. Um, so I'm just going to keep working through those. And then I'm just going to keep going through this bin. So I finished this bag of Sniff My Tarts. I can't go back to yesterday. Bubblegum, whipped cream, sour watermelon. Um, I do remember this being pretty decent. Um, this week I was still trying to do my candle air in my living room and I just, I wasn't having phenomenal results and it just was kind of starting to really make me upset. Um, in this past week I did switch to, um, just like a regular mainstays in there as my third warmer and it's definitely, I think, helping a lot. Um, this one I finished a hollow pineapple mystery wax melts. These are usually like a bigger shape that I would cut into fourths. Um, I don't really remember this one specifically, but I was still having some trouble out there with stuff throwing. Um, this one is Barrett's Wax Crafts Strawberry White Cake. This threw really, really well, even in the um, candelaria that I was not having super luck with. Um, this is a really great scent from him. I know it's like a standard scent. It's not like a you know, house blend or something really unusual, but I do enjoy strawberry white cake, and his is really good. I will definitely buy it again in the future, um, although I probably don't need to go out and get it, like, right now, but, you know, next time I make an order with him, which I keep meaning to, but I'm trying not to buy a lot of wax, and, you know, there's a lot of vendors that I enjoy, and Barrett's would be one of them, um, you know, but he's not necessarily in my top couple that I, I feel like I have to buy from him every week stock if that makes sense. Um, and then I finished up another hollow pineapple mystery wax. Um, I don't specifically remember this one either. These ones are like mystery scents, you know, and chunks. I just kind of throw them in when I need something in there. Um, and this one I finished, the L3 Beast. Um, this was a chunk that someone sent me. It was a nice fresh scent. Uh, and then I finished up this Hollow Pineapple Marshmallow Sunset. I know I finished this up in my son's room. It's just a nice marshmallow. I think it's like marshmallow and, like, creamsicle. 
I think. I think she calls it dreamsicle. I don't know if it's the same thing as creamsicle or not. Um, and then I finished up this scented squirrel sunshine taffy, which is lemon drop candy, satsuma, and saltwater taffy. Um, I think this was um, five cubes left out of this six, and I did three in... No, I think I did four in my living room. I think I did two in the candelier and then one each in the other two mainstays in my living room, dining room. Um, Mesa, what are you doing, buddy? He's like pushing the office chair around <laughs> like a wheeled one. Um, anyways, and then I just had one piece left over and I did that in my bathroom. This was super strong and really good. I really enjoyed this one. Um, this was poured 326, so it was a gear. Um... I've ordered from her twice now. Once was like a year ago, and once was maybe like last month. Um, and the stuff that's a year old, it's been a little hit or miss. I've had a couple that weren't throwing really good, but most of them have been. Um, that one was doing really well. And I finished up this vapid lavender and coconut milk. Um, this was really strong. This is also like a year old, um, or almost a year old. Um, definitely a nice lavender scent. Um, and then I finished up this scented squirrel. This one is Springtime Twinkies, which was golden sponge cake, whipped cream, strawberries, lime, mandarin oranges, and red raspberries. Um, all of these scent shots I had really good throw with. I think I did most of them. I did half in my bathroom, half in my son's room. Uh, and I finished up this Hayden Row Fizzy Pop. This was just a partial um, scent shot, and this threw really well. I really like that one. Um, you know, if you like fizzy pop. Um, I may have blended it with something, but I don't remember. Um, and then I finished up this clamshell of Super Tarts Tin Man, which is Go to Sleep um, with her stainless steel. So Go to Sleep is pink sugar and sweet lavender cream. It's just like a really creamy, sweet lavender scent. Um, and then stainless steel, which makes it a little more... Um, but, um, you know, it's still mostly, like, for go-to-sleep. Um, it's not my favorite go-to-sleep blend. I, I probably prefer go-to-sleep plain over it. Um, this one is Barrett's Waxcraft Sparkling Peach Champagne. Uh, you guys have seen this one a couple times if you watch, watch my, you know, normal videos. Um, and, yeah, this one is nice. Uh, I'm not a huge peach fan, so I probably wouldn't buy this again in bulk. But I did enjoy it for, like, holidays where I wanted champagne scents. Um, and this is an empty bag. <laughs> I think it's from an L3 scent shot, yeah. I had a lot of trouble with these L3 scent shots breaking and cracking, so I ended up rebagging all of them. But, you know, I would just throw it, the scent shot in here. So the wax is not actually touching the bag, so I save these bags for stuff like this again. Um, if I put, like, an actual piece of wax in it, I end up not saving it because they get kind of icky, and I, you know... But when you're just putting something in it that's already in a container, I end up reusing them. Um, yeah, so anyways, this one is I'm the Boogeyman. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Which is fluffy key lime cupcakes with buttercream whipped topping and candied limes. Um, and I mentioned the previous video than this one. I wasn't a huge fan of this. I thought the key limes smelled a little odd. Um... But I liked it with a blend, so I don't really know what was going on. Um, and this one is Hayden Row Lime Sage. Um, yeah, I finished this one off. It's definitely like a fresh lime scent with that sage, but it's really nice. A nice summer one. Um, and then I finished up this bag of Dessa's Homespun Scents Pink Lavender Sugar. These were like three or four like grubby hearts. Um, and they were pretty big size. They were probably close to an ounce. I probably could have cut them and gotten more melts out of them. But I, you know, I was just kind of lazy. <laughs> and they were cute, so I just left them as is. Um, but that, that scent did really well, threw really well. Um, I have pretty good luck with Dessa's Wax. Okay. So, um, that's all the empties I made this for that week. Um, this is the last, well, two weeks ago when I'm actually filming it. So I'm going to put these back in here so we get a little more space. And then I'm going to show you the partial stuff. Oh, I got through a ton of stuff this week. I feel like this past week that I'm going to film after this, I didn't get through as much. But, you know, if you have weeks like that, 
Um, so I melted some of this Sassy Girl Lemon Meringue Graham Crackers Cream Cheese Frosting. I'm not going to read the subscription because it's pretty much just that. But um, this went through really well in my living room, dining room, and that was before I changed warmers around. Sassy Girl has really, really strong wax, and I, like, never have trouble with stuff growing, even when I'm having trouble with other stuff. Um, this one is Sniff My Tarts, Begin at the Beginning. Saltwater taffy type, fizzy pop, key lime pie. Um, this is another one I know I did in my living room, dining room, and I was just, you know, I was not having a great time with the warmers. Um, and I don't really remember this one specifically, but it sounds really good, so I'm excited to try that this week and really try and get more out of it. Um, <clears throat> now that I have some stuff switched up. So this one's Barracks Wax Craft Bergamot Bouquet. I melted some of this. I believe it was in my living room. Um, it's just like a floral scent, which is not my favorite anymore, but I have a couple of these, so I'm just trying to get through them. Um, and this was a sample from the Melting Duck, when I ordered from, I've only ordered from them once, but it's Strawberry Mimosas with the Barber. Um, and this is just, it's a really cute duck. There was another one of them that I melted. Um, and it's a little bit, it's a definitely a different duck than the one that, like, Hayden Rowe does. This one's a little more, um, like, rubber ducky looking. But, um, yeah. They have a lot of duck stuff because they're the melting duck. But, anyways, this was a really nice scent. It was definitely very strawberry. I'm not sure that I would have known it was, like, a barber shop scent as well. Except that they told you. Um, this one is Villainous Wax Martian Manhunter. Which is relaxing ozone and mint, pink grapefruit and peaches and cream. Um, this one was nice. It definitely threw really well. And the, this is over a year now. Uh, it's from 217. And all of this stuff that's been like a year from her is still throwing really, really good. Really strong. Um, this one is the Posh Olive Alone Time. Now this Posh Olive stuff, 517 is when I bought and I don't know, everything Posh Olive I've had, I just, I'm not getting a throw from it. I don't know, I know that some people, you know, there's definitely a lot of people who really like her stuff and say that they get a good throw from it. For me, for whatever reason, I'm not finding that to be the case. I don't know why. I really wanted it to work well. Um, I don't know. I did another one from this same, not this one, but another one last night, and I really didn't get much from it. Um... I melted some of this Wilma Shop Pink Lavender Mallow. I just melted two cubes of it in my bedroom. It threw really well, really strong. Um, I, I have good luck with Wilma stuff throwing. What's wrong, sweetie? No? <laughs> uh, this one is Rockets Candle Co. Sweet Lavender Cotton Candy Frosting. Um, so I really, really loved this. Um, and I thought it was super awesome in my bedroom. <laughs> then I had it melting and my husband came in. And, and, you know, before he came in, I was thinking, like, this is seriously, like, the best scent ever. Like, I love Sweet Lavender Cotton Candy scents. Like, I think they're, like, the best, like, nighttime blend ever. Um, maybe if you added some peppermint in there, then I'd be, like, all set. But it's, like... It's right up there with, like, things I love, right? <laughs> and then my husband comes in, and he's, like, complaining that he thinks it smells bad. And I'm, it's been a couple weeks, but I'm pretty sure he said the word vomit. And I was just, like, really? I was like, this smells amazing. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> so, he's not he's not any fun. Uh, he has a really weird sense of smell sometimes. Uh... <laughs> So this one is Sassy Girl Pink Sugar Sleepy Time. Um, this one's doing really well. I got like four, four more pieces or something, four or five. So I'm just trying to work through these. I have a bunch, a ton of Sassy Girl nighttime lens, and a lot of them are from um, March or April of 2017. So um, they're all coming up on a year. I'm sure her stuff probably does well past year because it's still really, really strong. Um, but I'm just trying to make my way through some of it. And this is another Rockets Candle Co. This is Pink Lavender Laundry. Um, it's definitely really heavy on the laundry scent. I have to be in the right mood for laundry. Um, it's not like my favorite thing ever in the whole wide world. But I'm. it's nice sometimes. I just have to be in the right mood for it. Um, 
And this is Zape Dessert First. Coconut cream pie, key lime pie, and lemon pound cake. Um, I just have one little piece of this left. I don't remember if this one threw well this past time. I, hadn't, I haven't been having good luck with the older Zape stuff right now. This is going to be coming up on a month or a year soon. Um, and I just... I haven't been having good luck, but I'm going to put this piece, this last piece in and really focus on it to see, um, yeah. And I finished this hollow pineapple blue raspberry floss. Um, there's only like two little pieces left and I put it in my son's room. It's doing really well. And this is past a year now, so. Which is good because I have so much of her wax. <laughs> if it was all starting to go bad in a year, I'd be really screwed. Um. And then I finished this Chloe and me, or not, I didn't finish it. I did part of it. It was like a big key. Um, I, I did it in my bathroom, which is kind of a small warmer. If I had been doing it in a bigger room, in a bigger warmer, I probably would have just put the whole thing in. Um, this one is China Sundress. Um, this is from that Alice collection. Um, this one is definitely a floral one. But it wasn't like, it wasn't like headache conducing floral. It was actually really nice. It's kind of like, it smells almost like a free floral, but I'm not sure. There's probably not any fruit in it. This one is L3 Gummy Bears Mandarin Tiki. Um, I think this one threw pretty good in my, in my office. Um, I don't think this one is in my living room. Um, and this one was Zape QS Candy Shop. This is another one that's from 417. Um, and I know I had melted this in the past and it been it, it done really well. Um, I don't remember it being super phenomenal this last time, but I think it threw pretty good. I'm going to keep keep working on that one, though. Um, and then I have just a little bit left of this L3 Lemon Sugar Watermelon. This was doing really good in my office. I do remember that. Um, I do like watermelon scents and lemon a lot. L3 Sugar Cookie Pineapple Whipped Cream. I just have a little bit of this left. Um, doesn't want to focus. It's not like, it's kind of dark today outside. It's like overcast. I think it's going to rain. Um, goodness, sorry guys. <laughs> so it's not the best day for shooting, so I think it's having trouble focusing. Um, but that's a really nice scent. Um, I don't know specifics I've been for performance, but it's been like two weeks, which is why I should not get behind on these, because I feel like I'm just... Making shit up, right? <laughs> um, this one is Butali Wax Creations. I think that's how you say it. Um, I've never ordered from them, and I'm pretty sure they're closed now. But um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I feel really bad if I said that. That's not the true case. But I think they did recently close. Um, this one is Cypress Berries Roasted Marshmallow. And this I just got in, like, a D-stash. I think it was, like, a free one. Um, yeah. So, anyways, um, that did pretty good for how old it is. It's from 11, 10, 16. I definitely got a throw from it. What's wrong, sweetie? He's like been me. No, what's wrong? Anytime I ask him a question, he says no. <laughs> um, he's been doing that like whine and sound like past couple days. I don't really know why. I don't know if he thinks he sounds like a like a car-like siren or what, I don't know. Um, anyways, <laughs> this one is vill Villainous June June. Um, and this threw really well. I, what's wrong? I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Um, anyways, I, I have really enjoyed this. What? You don't want mama talking? I really enjoyed this scent, um, but I recently found out it was a tea make scent, which I was kind of surprised by that, because I was like, what? <laughs> um, this one is Zape Mahalo. What are you doing? Do you think they want to hear you yelling like that? I got two more, buddy. <laughs> this one is Zape Mahalo Guava, Guava Coconut Pineapple Strawberry and White Cake. Um, I did this one in my office, and I definitely did get a throw from it, but it wasn't super awesome either. Um, oh, I just not having a good luck with it. I know that from a lot of people, her stuff doesn't do well at a year, and I was trying to get through it before it was a year. Um, it's from 417, so we're getting really close. Um, yeah. And then I also have this scent shot from Rock Angel Scent Co. Uh, what You Give. 
wild berries, cherries, raspberries, strawberry, vanilla, sugar, pomegranate, and woods. I don't really remember this, but um, when I've been doing these in closed-in rooms, like, you know, not in my living room, I've been having good luck with them, um, even though they're kind of on the old side. So that is good. I'm happy about that. Um, but I don't specifically remember that one. So anyways, that is it. Um, yeah, I am going to try and <laughs> stay caught up with these because I feel like these videos definitely suffer when I can't remember what I just melted because it's, it's like been two weeks now for some of this stuff. So yeah, anyways, I will talk to you guys later and I hope you're having a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.